Installing the transducer for your Humminbird site imaging unit is an easy operation. You can mount the transducer one of two ways, here on the boat's transom or on the trolling motor. We'll cover mounting to the boat's transom. First, determine the best location for the transducer on the transom. When selecting a mounting location, make sure the left and right sides of the side imaging transducer are free from obstructions, which can block the sonar signal. The transducer must remain in the water for the control head to maintain the sonar signal. Your owner's manual will include a transducer mounting template. Tape the template on the transom of the boat. Mark the three mounting holes on the transom using a marking pen or by partially drilling the holes as shown, using a 5 seconds inch drill bit. You can then double check the fit of the mounting bracket. Then, drill the holes to a depth of approximately one inch. Fill each of the three mounting holes with marine grade silicone. Here we are using clear silicone. Align your mounting bracket with the holes. Then, insert and tighten the three screws provided so that the mount will hold the transducer assembly about one eighth to one quarter inch below the bottom of the transom. Now you will need your transducer and pivot from the box. This is the transducer, and this is the pivot it attaches to. Attach the transducer to the pivot using the supplied bolts and Allen wrench. Once you've completed your transducer pivot assembly, mount it to the bracket on the transom, inserting the bolt in the top holes from right to left. The transducer mount features a kick-up mechanism, so a small amount of movement is normal. The details of routing the cable from the transom to the control head are specific to each boat. See the operator's manual for more information. You've now completed the installation and are ready to conduct a field test. Place the boat in the water, then press the power light button. If all connections are correct and power is available, you will hear this tone and the unit will enter normal operation.